Welcome to the free EVNG course and thank you for joining us on this exciting journey. I'm happy to have you here and we're confident that this course will significantly enhance your networking skills and knowledge. In this first session titled EVNG System Requirements, I'll start by expressing our gratitude for your participation. Now let's move on uh, to the EVNG System Requirements. Understanding these requirements is crucial for a seamless installation and operation of EVNG. I'll guide you through each specification, ensuring you're fully prepared to the, uh, set up uh, your EVNG lab. Now, as you can see, I'm entering to the EVNG official website to access the details system requirements. Let's navigate together to the system requirements. Here we are on EVNG documentation page where we can find a comprehensive list of supported and unsupported platforms. This information is crucial as it's outlined the hardware and software environments where EVNG will perform optimally. For the best experience, EVNG recommends using platforms that support Intel CPU virtualization technology. This includes various uh, version of VMware products like VMware ESXi, Workstation and Fusion, as well as Google Cloud VMs. For those using AMD processor, the Ryzen 3900 and newer Epic series are compatible, but it's always a good idea to consult with EVNG support for CPU tuning. It's equally important to be aware of the environments where EVNG might face issues. For example, upgrading your Linux OS to a version newer than Ubuntu 20.0 could lead to a non-working EVE environment. Also, certain Mac OS versions and CPUs, Oracle VM, VirtualBox, and various cloud platforms like Microsoft Azure and Amazon AWS are not officially supported due to compatibility issues. And you can see the rest of the incompatibility issues here. Please read them carefully, which helps you to make the best possible decision if you are about to buy a PC or a server to run your EVNG lab. Remember, the required CPU and memory will depend on the number of nodes you plan to run in your lab. A setup with 4 vCPU and 6 uh, gigs of memory might be enough for I.O. and dynamic images, but more resources intensive topology will require a strong PC or a server configuration. By understanding these requirements, you can prepare your system to handle the demands of EVNG and ensure a seamless learning experience. Now that we're familiar with the system requirements, let's move on to the next video where we'll walk you through the type of EVNG installation together. Stay engaged as we take the next step in setting up your network emulation environment.